Hey guys, what's happening? Um, I want to talk about this Craig um, ACS tabletop uh, that I bought the other day. I like it quite a bit. Um, there wasn't a lot of information on it. I haven't seen too many videos um, from other people describing it other than, you know, there was like a wave of <clears throat> paid advertisements that came out about a year ago. Um, but I just want to give my impressions on it. Like I said, I like it. You know, it's 350 bucks for the table and these accessories here, minus this rail. That's my rail. Um, and what I didn't see was people talking about how they use their rails with this system. Because I don't have a Craig track saw. I have a Wen track saw. And it works fine with this table, and I'm pretty sure just about any tracks all work with this. Um, so let me just show you what you get for 350 bucks. You get the tabletop, which is kind of the most important thing for me. Um, making one of these is kind of a pain to get these, you know, holes uh, perfectly aligned. Uh, you get this rail around the outside that holds the tabletop. You get these kind of goofy um, stops. You get this miter thing. I probably will never use it. Um, I don't really see a problem with it. You get these, four of them, two tall ones, and two. Mm, let me see. Two of the smaller ones. Um, you get this extension back here. Which actually works surprisingly well. I uh, don't know how much I'll use it. But, uh... It slides in there. And gives you a, uh, stop extension yeah but the biggest thing is these holders for your guide rail so you can get consistent you know 90 degree cuts um, so basically Take your workpiece, slide it under here, butt it against these stops. And you're gonna get a 90 degree cut every time. Um, so this is a standard like 55 inch rail that doesn't really fit on this. <clears throat> it seems like they've intentionally made this thing so a standard you know 55 inch rail won't fit I think the Craig rails are like 65 or something like that so what I did is I took a 55 inch rail and then I cut a little bit off of another one and I joined them together you know to make this about 65 inches total and the way this attaches is right here this little t-track right here um, I don't know if there's any tracks that don't have these kind of standard t-tracks so I'm sure your truck will work on this um, so yeah I pretty much like it um, there, there's a couple issues. I'm not really sure what they were thinking with uh, these stops and their uh, increments here. They want you to put the stops in
you know, this way, and then measure to your part from this side. Um, I don't know why they thought that was a good idea. So, uh, you'll see my, my markers are off. That's actually 11 inches away from my cut line. Um, you know, I could put my own measurements on here. It's not a big deal. Um, I like to use them like this. You know? Um, whatever. This is not a big deal. Um, everything I've shown you so far I like. The only thing about this that I don't really like, I, I hear people complaining about this being plastic. Um, plastic isn't you know, weak. Um, it can be pretty strong. It can be strong enough. I think this is strong enough uh, for what you're doing. I mean, we'll see if it breaks um, soon. So the only thing I don't really like about this is uh, the idea here is this is supposed to be a fence. this, um, slide it up, and then tighten it down, and then reference off this fence. The problem is, you know, these two sides move independently. This isn't very rigid, so you're going to have a little bit difference in this side and this side, and your piece is going to be slightly off compared to this. Uh, I don't recommend using this. Just reference off these here and as long as this and this are 90 you're always going to get a straight cut you're probably not going to get a straight cut if you reference off this so yeah uh, another thing with this is this top at least mine and i suspect it's the case with um everybody's it didn't come with um nuts for these tracks so they're just bolted through and it's kind of flopping around in there it's not a big deal i can get nuts um i think the nuts actually come with the mobile base that i didn't buy i don't need a mobile base i don't really want it, it doesn't look that stable to me so i just made a simple base for it so yeah i like it um is it worth 350 i don't know i mean the top by itself is $150. I think it's worth $150. But I can't just buy that and this separate. Um, so I bought the whole thing for $350. I, I think it's worth it. Um, I want it. I, I hate the thing about track saws that I hate is when you're making a bunch of repetitive cuts constantly you know, lining up and then checking for 90 um, over and over and over again it gets annoying uh, so I made these drawers with this that was my first project it worked pretty well I'm going to make some more I'm going to show you kind of how the process works with this thing and that'll be it
uh, so yeah, that was pretty easy. Um, so I like this thing. You know, I slap these two drawers together pretty quick. Put some pocket screws in them. Um, took me about 30 minutes to cut and assemble everything. Uh, I like the table. Um, is it worth 350 bucks? I, I don't know. Um, that's up to you. There's not really anything else comparable. The uh, MFT table's 750. It's quite a bit more. Um, the MFT table's better. Uh, I don't like the size of it. I think it's a little small. But I mean, each watching me work, you probably noticed this gets in the way. Um, it would be better if it folded up. Um, but the way it's set up, I think it's fine. Um, this is only my second time using it, so I was kind of slow with it. But uh, I like it so far. Um, I'll let you know if something changes. Uh, if you got any questions about this thing, ask me in the comments. Um, and yeah, see you next time.